Well, you can buy the Steam Deck dock for about 90 US dollars or 120 Canadian dollars from Valve. And your other option is get one at half price right after this. Now this docking station is made by a company called JS Aux. It's a six in one Steam Deck dock with HDMI 2.0, 4K at 60 Hertz, gigabit ethernet, three USB, A 3.0 ports, and a USB-C charging port as well. And of course we don't need the manual, we'll throw that away. And there you go, that's the dock. As simple as that, everything all in one piece there's the USB-C that connects to the actual Steam Deck. And of course, there's one on the back port as well, where you can plug in the official Steam Deck USB-C charging adapter. All right, there we go. We plugged that in. We plugged in an HDMI cable as well that's uh, connected to this monitor that you see behind us. Perfect. Let's take out the Steam Deck, connect it, and see how well it performs. All right, perfect, that's connected there. Now keep in mind that this dock is not just for the Steam Deck. It'll work with iPads, any other Android phone, anything that has a USB-C port. Now keep in mind the actual size that's available there. Not all handhelds will fit and may cause issues. All right, so everything's in place and there we go. Connected to the Steam Deck dock. We should get an image soon. Oh, there we go. There is our Steam Deck on an external monitor or you can connect it to your TV or any other display that supports HDMI. All right, perfect. So everything is working fine. And of course, it's a little inconvenient to come all the way here and try to play with all this connected up on your big large TV that you may have in your living room. So next best thing, let's connect a Bluetooth controller to the Steam Deck. Now we're trying to connect our um, Xbox Bluetooth controller directly to the Steam Deck. And one thing you'll notice is if you're having problems trying to connect it, you may need to update the firmware of the controller. How do you do that? You connect it back to your Xbox, go to the accessories option, and there should be a button on the left that you can select that will update the controller. And once that's done, you can come back here, resync it directly to your Steam Deck and everything should work as normal. And that's exactly what we had to do. As you can notice, we're having some difficulties trying to connect it, but once that update is done, we're up and running. All right, let's get this connected. And there you go, yep, that update did work. Full control of our Steam Deck from an Xbox controller. Awesome, let's load up a game and start playing. Which one should we choose? All right, perfect. This one looks like it might be great on the controller. Now keep in mind that not all games will work perfectly with your external controller. You'll have to fiddle with some of the settings to get it working, which is what we had to do with quite a few games. But some of them, like this one, work directly without any configuration or changes needed on your part. All right, so let's load this up. I'll just skip ahead and show you the game in action. And there you go, it's running great with an external controller. You can pretty much con connect any Bluetooth controller and it should work fine with your Steam Deck. Right, let's hop back to the main menu. Awesome, and of course, we couldn't resist. We had to connect it to a big screen TV and start gaming on that. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.